Painted in 1873, the railway is one of Manet's great works. It's an encapsulation of his ability to fuse the portrait, the genre scene, and a depiction of modern life. The subject of the painting's title barely appears in the frame, and yet the modernity of the railway below, which had just opened five years before, and the Pont de l'Europe, just visible in the background, emphatically declare it as a scene of contemporary life. And then staring out, almost confronting the viewer, is a young woman, the model, Vittorie Muron, dressed in the latest autumn fashions. She's accompanied by an anonymous little girl, whose focus is on the noise and steam of the locomotives below. The two occupy a compressed space between the picture plane and the iron bars of the railings that beat a rhythm across the composition. The painting was accepted at the Salon, but like so many of Manet's previous works, the railway frustrated critics, one of whom complained, is this a double portrait or a subject picture? But in many ways, that was the point for Manet. It was both and neither. Now I'm joined in front of the railway by the actor, director and Manny enthusiast Fiona Shaw. <laughs> Fiona, this again, I suppose, superficially, is a very straightforward picture, but it is enigmatic too. Do you make sense of it easily? Well, looking at it now, I, I, it does have a hint of sort of what became later a sentimental painting, as you think of a lady and a child. And, but I suppose what is striking about the painting is that it's set in an urban context, and he was definitely trying to get away from uh, the countryside. So I suppose it's very daring to put a rather nice, innocent lady and a little girl, but against this new Paris that's building up behind, I think that's probably what the point of it is. Just pick up on this image of innocence, because you're right, you know, it's a girl in a, in a fashionable, pretty frock, there's a, a woman very fashionably attired with a, a dog on her lap reading, but in the flesh, isn't there something quite confrontational about her face? Don't you feel you've invaded a space that you might not have done or you, that you shouldn't have done. No, it's very interesting to say that because I think this, in general, when he uses this gaze of a female looking straight at the, at the camera, as it were, is he trying to say it's him looking through these women's eyes? It's a very strange way of painting something. It's not a painting of the woman and the child, is it? It's somehow no. a painting in which the woman and the child or the woman, is in dialogue with us. So it's not of something, it's about something. And okay. I, I suppose in this case, it's about, yes, maybe her, her bewilderment at being in a, new, in a new country that's becoming new, that, that France is changing under her feet. She seems such a, a classical bourgeois lady. She so, you know, she so isn't. She, yes, actually, as I look at it now, she's almost questioning. It, there's something about the alienating nature of modern life or the, of the city. Yes. The, the, some of Manet's visions have this kind of, you know, people in the Tuileries Gardens yes. together. Yes. But a lot of the time people are together but isolated. And yes. this, this is very loudly that, I think. It is, and she's very, you know, it's very vintage Manet in that you know it's Manet. It's something to do with the black choker. He does define the character as though it's in the world, whether it's going to last long in the world or whether the world is a nice world to be in. But he's very definite about her. She's definitely there for all the book and the laptop and everything. And there's something very lonely about it.